Hello everybody, my name is Raging Raptor and I welcome you to a new World of Tanks How to Penetrate Today with the Butcher The tier 10, well, British tank destroyer and replacement of the FV215B183 So yeah, as per usual we have our trusty T28E with the F30 gun, with 120 millimeters of AP penetration and 200, uh, 161 millimeters of APCR penetration. And as you probably can see, a lot of things are red. Not only a little bit, a lot of things are red. Frontally is for a tier 4 tank, the Badger unpenetratable. Except if you actually drive slightly to the side. And this is quite interesting to know because if you have a look at the damage model there you can see and there we go we finally penetrated him frontally through the gun mantle plate i'm going to quickly zip that or not <laughs> i'm going to quickly zip that over here and put the gun how he has it in the game a little bit to the right as much as possible as you can see right now and there you can see there are green spots and those green spots are only 100 millimeter thick this is probably the cheesiest position to actually penetrate that gun or that tank in general and you can see even it gets even cheesier from parts being even only 40 to 50 millimeters thick but yeah Hitting this all the time is quite darn impossible. But with our trusty tier 4 tank, we are actually able to penetrate him frontal even without a PCR, as you could have seen. Well then, now I'm actually again trying to search, do I have the opportunities, the abilities to penetrate his side somehow, somewhere, but no, you won't be able to penetrate him. This upper front plate or this upper part is 151 millimeters thick. We can still penetrate here. It's this only 40 to 45 millimeters armor thickness. You can see we are shooting AP. That's totally working. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a little bit problem with my throat. This up here is a convenient weak spot. Sometimes if the batcher is standing sideways, it's easier to shoot here than here if you are not able to shoot this or see this part. And you can see, even with gold ammunition, we are able to penetrate this funky looking forehead. While the sides, the upper sides, are not being able to. But you can see the sides are uh, roughly 50 50, depending where we are hitting, as it has a lot of spaced armor. Otherwise, the lower side armor is only 101 millimeters thick, as far as I recall. Well, then. Are there any other tricky spots to penetrate him frontally so far? No, there aren't. The last thing which is quite easy to penetrate is its back and rear. Meaning this tank loves to be shot at by artillery. As you can see, we even have on this spot here, which is 12 centimeters of uh, 12 millimeters of armor, out to penetration. That's nice. And you can see we can even penetrate the bum of the Batcher with HE. Also, thanks for Legend of Boom for helping me here out. He was kind enough to actually help me with this replay and this how to pen video. So yeah, shout out to him and obviously here it is, Krabal. So now we are in our Mauer Breaker, which has an average penetration rate of 220 millimeters with AP and 260 with APCR. Sadly enough, the lower plate of our almighty Batcher is a little bit thicker than that. If we go near to, well, 50 meters, we have a effective armor of 231, which is really, really strong. So what I try to do now is to get further away to probably have a better angle of attack. But sadly enough, this didn't occur. As the further away we get, the more the shell does a curve. And also one thing for the people which want to know, after exactly 100 meters, your AP shells will lose penetration. Hence why I went back to 100 meters. And there you can see we actually were able to penetrate him in once after several tries. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen again. This lower plate, if you're actually looking at it like this, 
is also quite interesting. Those parts are the weaker parts. Those are around 230 millimeters of effective armor. While those parts here, you can see they are more welded. And this is also where I think the frontal road wheels are connected to. But those parts here, they are a little bit stronger. 270 millimeters of effective armor as far as I remember correctly. So yeah, sadly enough, our almighty Mauerbrecher decides to also miss that shot. And <coughs> yeah, when it comes to AP, we have a rough, I think, or I suggest that it's a roughly a 70% penetration rate. Uh, a 70% bounce rate. With APCR, this is getting a little bit better. As you can see, 260 millimeters of average penetration to 230, well, effective armor. As you can see, otherwise it will be immensely strong to penetrate him. Except we are using a little trick. I think this, I uh, didn't really quite or 100% looked into this trick, but you can, at least with some guns or with APCR here, you can ricochet over here, shoot here and ricochet into his weaker front armor. Let me get that up for you. You are ricocheting here down into this 63 millimeters of armor plate. If you're able to do that, as you could see, we are able to do some damage to our mighty Mauer um, Batcher. I always want to say mighty Mauer Brecher. But yeah, as I get closer, I'm trying to see, can I hit this part uh, without an auto bounce angle? No, sadly not. And you can see the upper front plate, even though we are loading APCR shells with 260 millimeters of armor are still horrendously hard to penetrate. Those plates here, which are also 63 millimeters thick, as same as I think up here, let's have a look. This is also 63 millimeters thick. Those are positions we are not able to penetrate him. But you can see, again, this plate here or this part here is being the frontal weak spot. But if the battery is looking at you, you are not able to hit that weak spot, sadly. So, yeah, still searching. Can I again try to bounce it into his... Um, lower armor in his um, weak side armor but no it just didn't work this time with AP this time I tried to shoot into this plates which are only 152 millimeters of effective armor from time to time and here I again tried to bounce it into the front low plate again with AP I bounced into this stuff here and it actually worked out next up we have the e5 which is doing his worst against the batcher and as you can see the lower plate starts to be more penable 258 millimeters of standard ap penetration 340 with heat are more than enough to pin that lower plate which is actually pretty darn neat still those side plates they're still strong enough you should not think that you will always penetrate there as you can see we pent once we bounced once and now with ap we can still penetrate here as it is this ominous on really 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 awkward weak spot <laughs> but otherwise guys you should not think about shooting at the batcher's front those parts here are 350 millimeters thick this plate here is 350 millimeters thick trying here to now bounce into the lower side didn't work we are loading them heat shells and you can see I am trying to search where I have a roughly 50-50% chance of penetrating. Yes, those plates have an effective of 303, uh, 333 millimeters of armor. Meaning our 340 millimeters of heat penetration are sometimes enough. These plates up here, don't even try them. They are 370 of effective armor and, uh, and the upper plate is 360 millimeters of effective armor. Bear in mind, right now, we are not even in a hold down position. What I'm right now trying is to go into a face hug with the my Batcher and see, can I nail the 63mm of armor plate or something else? You can see the forehead is not being able to penetrate, um, we are not able to penetrate, but now comes something interesting. This plate here is quite not that easy to penetrate, as you could see, but... Do you see this little, little, little curved thing here? If you are actually going into a face hug with the Batcher, this is your way to go if you are shooting a PCR or heat shells or premium in general. Because as you can see, this part here, not only is the Batcher quite small, 
hence why I can shoot down with the E5 onto this plate. But it is only, in quotation marks, 184 millimeters of thick. And you can see, depending on what angle we are nailing this, it's between 250 to 270 to 300 millimeters of armor, meaning most tier 10 tanks should be able to penetrate this spot. Except scouts, obviously, because scouts are not that good when it comes to penetration. There we go. Easy as one, two, three. So our next contestant is the Jack Panzer 100. And as you can see, I'm finally doing that what people wanted me to do, I guess. Showing if you are able to penetrate a Batcher if he is hold down. Chances and short answer is no. Because everything what the Batcher is throwing at you, if he is actually hold down, has at least 340 millimeters of effective armor. Meaning, oh boy, you are screwed. And don't get me wrong. How the battery is standing right now is not even using 100 or 10 degrees of gun depression. I want to say 100% of his gun depression, or not even 10 degrees. If I'm making a quick stop again and I'm going back into the tanks or GG model, you can see if we are actually using the gun like this in a 10 degree angle, it goes up to 480 and 360 millimeters of effective armor. That's a huge value. And as you can see, there are some small green parts. I'm going to talk about them with another tank, or even with the Czech Pass 100 I'm not entirely sure what I'm actually doing right now. There we go. I'm still trying to penetrate those plates here. We have roughly a 20% chance, I would say. I, I don't calculate it, but my guess is around 20%. But now we are loading our 420 Blazed heat. And as you can see, suddenly a lot of things start to turn greenish. Some, the forehead is still immensely strong 423 millimeters of effective armor that's still a huge number those cheeks they are quite easy for us to penetrate because well 355 millimeters of effective armor but yeah as you can see those plates here still not being able to penetrate and you should understand this is again a 50 50 chance to penetrate here 430 to 400 420 to 430 millimeters of armor versus effective armor thickness and lastly, as you can see, here is the best bet to penetrate him. Right now, our dear little friend tries to pen excuse me tries to penetrate us through exactly here, which is also weak spot. But if you want to learn more about that, let me know, and I probably do something about a Jack Pansy 100. <laughs> One thousand six hundred games certainly left a mark, as I'm most likely know all the weak spots. And as you can see here, we hit here, penetrated him with heat. 420 millimeters of heat penetration. They are doing everything. And now to the last tank. So the last tank is the Fosch 155. So now you ask yourself, but raging, why exactly are you using the Fosch 155 to demonstrate something with the Batcher? And this is about when the Batcher is hold down. And as you can see right now, the lower plate, yes, it is possible to nail it, but the tracks are a little bit easier to hit. And this is what I want to show you. Because the Batcher has 50.8 millimeters of lower superstructure armor. What is lower superstructure armor? This is, can you see it? This, this, this small part over here, 50.8 millimeters of armor. This means only guns with a caliber higher than 153 millimeters roughly can penetrate that spot. Meaning, Fosch 155, Jack Panzer 100, the, um, the two FVs with, this, um, with the big gun, with the 183 gun, and that's about it as, of as far as I remember. Yeah. They are able to nail that spot, not even the Object 268 can. Depending how high the angle is, you are able to penetrate it with other tanks, especially or really, really awkward for our mighty battery is that you are going to nail his tracks, which can be super darn annoying. But you need to watch out. As you can see, suddenly a shot sh went right through him. And <laughs> just to tell you, I was just like, what the hell, what happened? I wanted to show something and it suddenly didn't work. And this is because my shot was, as you can see, I aimed quite low. Roughly in the middle of the 
road wheel. But if you do this, chances are that you are not hitting this superstructure here and your shot is simply going to do this and flying out of the tank again without dealing any damage except for track damage. So be aware of that certain position, seriously. Otherwise you should have no troubles at all getting, getting through here. I was really perplexed that this actually happened to me and was just like, whoops. Good thing that has happened to the video, so I can actually show it to you. Lastly, as the video is drawing to an end, thank you so much again, my friend, Legend of Boom. And guys, about the Type 5 Heavy video, I promised it and I'm sorry that this didn't came. Because <laughs> I made a I'm a little bit doofus and I forgot my... Uh, what's it called? My datas in Zurich and right now I'm not in Zurich. I'm in a whole town near of Lucerne, meaning it's around a one hour train trip, which I need to do two in two days because otherwise my my um, ticket is not working. <laughs> so yeah, you really, I'm sorry, you have to wait for that one a little bit longer. But yeah, let me know what you think about The Bachelor. Let me know if this video was helpful and let me know what tank I should review or put on the gun yard next. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you all later.